Just gonna thank you, Nilsa, because you came to our lifestyle center, mm -hmm. yet restored, and it's been a blessing to have you. It's been a I blessing to be here, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so you have an amazing story. So we're yeah. so excited to share your amazing story. Um, so can you share where you come from and what is your age? Uh, I'm from San Diego. I am 19. You still a teenager, huh? Just for a few more days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, tell me the reason you came to Jeffree Star. Oh, there's many, many, many. Um, Maybe we can start. Um, what is your diagnosis? Uh, I was diagnosed with a mast cell disease. So that basically means that my mast cells, which are in charge of all the histamine and allergic reactions, are just hyperactive. They like want to attack anything and everything that they perceive as a threat, which is was just growing. That list of what they perceived as a threat was growing and growing until at times I could barely drink water without feeling sick. Yeah, I I, I, see, I saw that. Mm -hmm. One day you were fine, all of a sudden you drink water and all of a sudden you're having right. a flare-up. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, so it's like uh, anything can just mm -hmm. do it, right? And the thing is that it's my cells, so that's produced in you know, my bones and you know affects my entire body. So it affects pretty much all your systems. Yeah, and, yeah, I, and we noticed things. that because you, when you came, you have this deep bone pain. Oh yeah. And you That's have muscle pain, mm -hmm. and you have headache. That was that, galore. So in any part of your body would hurt mm -hmm. very severely, mm -hmm. and, and we noticed that. So um, there was one day that the pain went out of control because we didn't take care of right away because, you know, we didn't know how bad it was mm -hmm. and uh, it went out of control. So we had to kind of, it was like our priority at that moment to do something, right? Mm -hmm. So what did we do? We, well, it got me down through a lot of patience and a lot of perseverance and love of God, honestly. Um, they were able to get me down to the basement area kind of where they have like the sauna and the bathtub and we went and they put me in a really as hot as I could stand it bath really really high filled and kept my head warm otherwise I would overheat and get a headache so we kept your head cold I cold my bad yeah, yeah. cold <laughs> <laughs> no you don't want to keep your head warm um and apparently I was in there for like what 90 minutes 90 minutes the first time because we wanted the pain to go all the way down, mm -hmm. like a, at least two in one. So when your pain was really low, zero mm -hmm. to one, then we got you out of there. And then uh, what did we do after? And then after I was done with the, after the 90 one. minutes had passed and my pain had gone down so much, um, we just cold. I wasn't, a, I wasn't strong enough to stand up into the shower to get cold on me. So we just kind of stood up in the tub and they dumped a bunch of cold water on me, which was very, very cold, but it made all the difference in the world. If you don't end with cold, it's it's like you didn't do it. It doesn't, it's not really worth anything. Exactly. So we had to arrest the heat, put in the cold because mm -hmm. the, the, the vessels are going to constrict and keep your heat to keep you out of pain. So mm -hmm. throughout the day, you you were really great. And after that, you had little downs, but not major downs. No. Never had a flare up. And, oh my goodness, and no. you did amazing because you were up and down before that, up and down in the, the headaches. So we had to give mm -hmm. you therapy for the headaches. And it, it was just like constant, right? And for oh, yeah. your stomach. For, but after that, we were able to handle pretty, pretty easy. Oh, even pretty since easy. then, I feel way more like myself and way more normal than I have in like probably a year or so mm -hmm. because I mean for I've been sick for roughly about a year maybe a little bit over um but I think I was getting sick before um and like I always have some sort of pain migraines like more often than I don't have them I'm always in having some sort of symptoms some sort of discomfort at the very least and you know that takes a toll on you after mm -hmm. so long but now after since that was what three days ago that we did we start we did no, that, that early was like, that was before we were eating so yeah, it was, was last week last week last that week we on wednesday the, mm -hmm. that we did the um the hot and cold and we've just continued to do that since that we, first thing in the morning and it has made such a difference it's mm -hmm. insane how much just 
different temperature water can do for mm -hmm. you. And of course, we're working really hard on the food. Yes. We're trying to figure it out <laughs> what foods are causing, what foods are not causing, because we've done so much uh, food sensitivities mm -hmm. um, work in our uh, lifestyle center, because what we do is lifestyle, mm -hmm. that's it, lifestyle mm -hmm. changes and food changes, because we don't tell you what to do you know, medically, because mm -hmm. you had to work with your doctor, mm -hmm. but we just teach you how to eat, right? Right? And do simple remedies. So we had to check every item that you eat. And we figured it out, okay, it's, okay, this had to be gone, and this had to be gone. This, so finally, we figured it Slowly out. Slowly more and more had to leave. <laughs> yeah. So for now, right? For yeah. Now, because we believe that after when your leaky gut is put to rest then mm -hmm. you'll be able to reintroduce most of the foods but some foods probably will be gone yeah, right definitely yeah so it was like a like a night and day seeing oh, you the transformation that you know you were very very debilitated mm -hmm. to you know today uh, as we were coming to do this little film you were actually running uphill so I said, do you realize you're running up in the I very didn't hard? realize it because like I mean if you're nor if you're not sick and you're healthy you don't realize you just like do like a little jog to get somewhere a little bit faster with no thought put towards it but you know if you're sick you put so much thought and you're like okay how much energy do i have for the day is this going to take up the rest of my energy and i did it without thinking so mm -hmm. that's just that really goes to show mm -hmm. so in the last few days um i haven't i think we have you haven't even having headaches i haven't heard no oh, headaches i, I heard of really. bone pain which are the main minor very minor and uh and you know once we took care of the food sensitivities i mean you've been progressing of course when you when you recover you go up and then a little down uh -huh. and up a little down so mm -hmm. it's not gonna be all perfect right oh, but nice. but you are um actually going uphill because otherwise you will be downhill a little better downhill a little oh, bit yeah. so oh, that's yeah that's the progression mm -hmm. when you have a you know something like you do you mm -hmm. know some autoimmune some food sensitivities serious you know because this is serious they they yeah. you know what i was very impressed is that you cannot even smell what what, what is corn. that corn corn yes. corn oh no i can't have it. any products with corn in them which are most of them no i can't even if i smell popcorn cooking I, yeah, it's not a fun time. You get up. Um, uh, <laughs> Migraine, flare up, feel like I'm going to throw up, all of the, just everything. So you're very, very sensitive Extremely. to corn, but uh, what you find out that even any, uh, even even um, supplements, things like that, have, most oh, of everything. it have corn. Like, so it's very hard to find a supplement that have no corn or a makeup that has no corn. It's, uh, any, any type of products, honestly. On mm -hmm. What I tell you, like corn is in everything, I mean, like, everything like even to the styrofoam packaging a lot of it is made with corn um, yeah i was and... very surprised about that and um even the glycerin can be made of oh, corn yeah. i found out it can be corn it can be soy it can be coconut mm -hmm. also so so even when we use these healthy products we have to be mindful it doesn't say in the bottle because i read the bottle mm -hmm. it says glycerin from glycerin that's it mm -hmm. but they don't say where they extracted the glycerol that made mm -hmm. glycerin so that is a concerning because a lot of people that come to our center they they have problems with corn soy and, and gluten mainly mm -hmm. so if so we have to be careful even of that so we want people to be mindful of that too you know at home why mm -hmm. you are why are you so sick and you can never get better right there's so much to figure it out i think one thing that would just be really helpful for anyone at home is just look we'll try to get products with the least amount of ingredients as possible that's usually a good start and then you know they have a bunch of different names like citric acid or cellulose or things like that for like the filler ingredients it's really important to know where every single one of those like chemical sounding ones comes from if you have any sensitivities at all mm -hmm. yeah it's good to check the uh there is a stool test that we recommend mm -hmm. recommend that it show you what sensitive you are mm -hmm. and most of the people that come to our center they eating every day those foods are sensitive so it gets oh, yeah. sicker and sicker so we have people that are being sick for 20 years 30 years this program mm -hmm. right you, you we saw you're mm -hmm. the youngest i mean well we have our other little kids but you, you you're the, the, the middle youngest adult yes. young the youngest adult exactly <laughs> and uh, we see the the other people that have been sick for many years uh -huh. and uh but we notice also they start improving mm -hmm. you know it's only the beginning but 
it's been a big push changing the way we eat and uh, doing these simple remedies like using water, sun, exercise, fresh air it has made a big difference. It is, and it's really mind blowing how well just things that you have in your pantry or things that you have in your house or you just go outside and get the sunlight, go in your bathtub, you get hot and cold water, go into your fridge, you probably have like garlic or onion or things like that. All those things, when you put them together and you do them effectively, it can make an absolute world of difference, mm -hmm. like night and day, like she was saying. Yeah, so uh, it's been a, such a blessing to to have you come to the facility and see the miracles God has done in your life. Really? It's a short time, so we give uh, you know praise to God for mm -hmm. this Definitely. amazing recovery. So thank you so much. I hope you come and visit us again. I will. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And glory to God. <laughs>